Um, there's no more questions right now, so I'm going to finish up these questions, but I was asked yesterday to explain the Disney 5%. I was actually asked like three times, so I'm like, this is a good time to do it. So, in order for you to save a ton of money at Disney, so if you're going to do a package through Disney, heck, even if you're just going to buy food and stuff from Disney, go and open up a Disney vacation account. Google it, it'll come up. It's like DisneyVacationAccount.go.whatever. You know how Disney's websites are. Open up an account. Put in um, about a month before you're actually going to take a trip and um, put in the amount you want to save or like how much over your trip is going to be. And then go to Target and get yourself a red debit card. You're going to need your checkbook because you're going to attach it to your bank account. I mean, you can go and get a Target credit card, but you're not going to save any money if you're paying interest on it. So what I do is I go and I go to Target and I buy a couple gift cards you know, whenever I have the money. So every $100 gift card you buy, you're gonna save $5 off of it. So you're gonna pay $95 for a $100 gift card. Now go home, take that $100 gift card that you pay $95 for and put it into your Disney vacation account. Just keep racking them up, racking them up, racking them up. For every $1,000 that you put in your Disney vacation account, you're gonna get a $20 gift card back at the end of, like right before your trip. So, You've gone and you've bought a thousand dollars in gift cards. You've paid nine hundred and fifty dollars for that for them, and then you're going to get a twenty dollar back. So it's basically like you're paying um, nine fifty for a thousand dollars and twenty in gift cards, or whatever. So how we always do it is we just add it up and add it up and add it up, pay off our trip. If we're going to have spending money. Um, Dining, we're not going to be doing dining, tips, anything. We just put all that money in that Disney vacation account. And then right before our trip, about a month before, we request a gift card. So now we've saved all this money between the 5% between getting the, the credit back. And then we ask for our gift card back. Let's say your vacation is $3,000. You've now paid off your vacation. You've saved $150 by buying your red card. And then you've gotten $60 that you can put back towards um, food, tips, whatever. So it's not a ton of money, but hey, I just saved almost $200 or a little over $200. To me, that's worth it. So that's what I do. Also like certain Disney agents may offer personal promotions like my Disney agent does. Um, so I always use her. I always get a little bit of a gift card. Anytime anyone books a vacation with her, I get a, I mean, it's tiny, but I get a referral bonus. Like definitely there are ways to save money to go to Disney. So I don't know if her name is Tashley or Ashley, but anyway, she says, hi Amanda, I enjoy watching your videos. What made you start a YouTube channel? already mentioned that. Um, what's your dream vacation? Honestly, I would like to go somewhere like really tropical um, and like have the white sandy beaches and be able to do all that type of stuff. But water terrifies me, especially water where there's sharks. So I don't really want my kids there. Um, and like my kids get bored in situations like that. So in all honesty, I would love to take like a vacation like to Hawaii and stuff like that. But again, like my kids can't, like they're just not there yet. So it'd have to really be a trip for my husband and I. And my husband is not the type of person that can just like sit on a beach. He's like, go, go, go. He wants to be fishing or this or that. So in all honesty, I have no idea what my dream vacation would be right now because my family is so go, go, go. And so like ADHD and can't sit still. But for me, definitely something tropical where I can sit on a beach and just enjoy life for a little bit. Did you work outside of the home prior to YouTube? When I had Trevor, I was working um, and I took four months off and then I went back to work. So I went back to work in March or April and then uh, I stopped working in November of that year. Uh, he turned one that December uh, and I was a stay at home mom ever since that and I didn't start YouTube until like 2013, maybe 2014. And, and I don't do YouTube for a job. I don't hardly make any money to consider it. It's not even a part-time job. Um, but it is something that I enjoy doing and it's a way for me to kind of get things off my chest or help other people or feel like I'm a part of, you know, something where, you know, I'm interacting with people and I'm having some kind of back and forth type of conversation. Uh, so for me, YouTube is kind of like a hobby, like a fun thing to do with my spare time. How tall am I? I am 5'7". 
planning on a cloud asks on your Disney trips, why is it that you don't go to Universal Studios as well? Um, for now, it's because my kids are too small. Once Ellie and Casey get a little bit taller and they can ride 50 to 75% of the stuff there, we want to go there for sure. Trevor wants to go to Universal really, really badly. Um, so I've mentioned it a million times. We have annual passes this year. Our annual passes are going to end in September. We're going to take a year off. Uh, we're thinking, um, so... 2017 they end so we're thinking maybe like holiday season 2018 we might try to do like universal um mainly trip and then do like the christmas party or something like that or just spend like a day or so at magic kingdom maybe like a day at magic kingdom and like the christmas party or something like that um but for us it's a matter of getting them to be able to ride all the rides i can't do anything that's like video like that and neither can my husband uh so that makes us really worried because we don't want to get sick um because literally i throw up uh so that's kind of another reason too that i guess a lot of their stuff there is that i forget what they call it um, but we definitely do want to get there because Trevor does want to see Harry Potter. And in all honesty, I would like for Casey and Aubrey to get to that point where they can read the Harry Potter, Harry Potter books and be able to be into it too and all excited for it. So my thinking right now is like holiday season 2018, we'll try to do like a really quick trip there, stay at Cabana Bay, all that stuff. It's just, you know, to buy tickets for Disney and then buy tickets for Universal, it does get kind of expensive. Um, and any other plans on visiting Disney parks like California for a nice change of pace? Yes. Um, I've mentioned this. I don't know if this video is going to be up before or after that, but yes, we have a goal in mind to go to Disney the summer in between Trevor's, um, eighth grade and ninth grade year. That is our goal, um, to get there for them. That will be in 2019, um, towards the end of 2019. Uh, that is our goal. That is why we're taking off, you know, kind of the 2017-2018 time period, doing a really small trip to, to hopefully Universal. Again, that's a hopeful. That's, you know, we don't know. And then um, doing a big trip to Disneyland. Um, I'd also like to take them to like the San Diego area and um, be able to see a few things in California. Uh, we will probably fly and then, you know, rent a car and be able to do a few different things and that's going to be a trip that's going to cost a lot of money so you want to make sure that we save up because it's probably going to be a, like a once in a lifetime thing don't even know how to pronounce this Rico Munal hey man I love your videos what is your favorite winter tradition um in all honesty it's that time of year where it's obviously the new year um there's not really a lot going on most people don't want to spend money and it's just quiet you know, you don't have a lot of events going on. You don't have a lot of like sports and stuff like that to take up your time. And it's just quiet. I feel like we kind of like reconnect as a family and kind of rejuvenate ourselves before the busy springtime comes and just enjoy kind of being lazy and enjoying life and enjoying that fresh new beginning that the new year brings. So I guess that would be my favorite winter tradition. Sil Sylvia asked, did, did your husband ever mind you doing YouTube? Um, he definitely gets annoyed by it. Uh, at times or like you'll often hear him in the background. He'll make jokes like anytime I say hey guys He'll like make a joke about that um, You know he makes his jokes about it But he does understand that it's something that I like doing and that I feel you know passionate about or whatever so He does support it, but he does definitely get annoyed with it at times um, He'll be like you know, like I always try to make sure that like my editing isn't bothering any time when my husband is home or most of my kids are home. Like I won't lie, I do edit when it's just me and Ellie here or like I'll edit super late at night and like he has a few nights where he watches TV shows. So I'll try to do all my editing there. So again, the, our, my YouTube isn't like affecting our family life much. When I was editing more, like when everyone was home, he definitely would get annoyed by that. And like, I wouldn't say he's annoyed that with vlog days because I've been really smart about it, but like he definitely is like, cause I'll just say something like, oh, I gotta go edit or something like that. And he's like, you don't have to edit, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. But um, he does get annoyed, but I think also the return of having all these memories on video is really nice. Um, does he help you pick out and wrap gifts? Nope. Uh, every now and then on Christmas Eve, he'll help me as I'm like scrambling, but no, I do all the shopping. We joke. I told the other day I took a picture of the tree and I said, I will give you 50 bucks if you can tell me three presents under the tree right now. And he named like three presents that he wrapped that were mine, but I'm like, yeah, no, the kids. And he doesn't know. Um, he just, 
Jeff just wants to go to work and handle that and he wants me to handle all of this stuff. I handle all the bills, the kids, their appointments, um, parent-teacher conferences. I do all that stuff alone. Um, that's what works for us. He would much rather come home and like take care of the kids and manage that than have to deal with all that type of stuff. And shopping, birthdays, Christmas, all that stuff is totally left to me. Obviously we work together and like set a budget and a plan. Um, but when it comes down to the actual items and stuff, he doesn't care. Or like I'll run stuff by him. So like, you know, Aubrey wanted an iPad or uh, an uh, Is that an iPad? It's not an iPhone. What am I thinking of? She wanted like a little tiny, not a shuffle. You know what I'm trying to say. She wanted one of those and I was torn on it. So I asked him and we both agreed that she wasn't there. Uh, you know, Trevor wanted a new phone last year. We both, or he wanted a phone last year and we both agreed not then. Like, so those big type of decisions, we will work together, but ultimately it's me. Luke said, oh, they're talking about my Christmas tree because <laughs> all of our wrapping paper, it looks like we all have for one person. We didn't do uh, like wrapping paper by person this year. We just did, I just basically tried to use up what we had and then I color coded the tags. Um, will your husband, or the Tashley person again asked, will your husband ever do a tag video with you? Like the couples one, two, three tag? I doubt it. I could probably get him to do it like, while we were driving to Disney or something, I may try that. Um, but he's just, he doesn't get it. He doesn't understand why people would want to watch like our life or whatever. Like if he watches YouTube, it's like a review on something. So he just cannot understand like that people would want to watch that. But I'm like, I don't understand how you watch The Walking Dead. Uh, but that, you know, that's your personal preference. He doesn't understand how I watch Hallmark. Like, so he thinks it's like, he just thinks it's so weird that like, especially us, cause our life is so boring, but I'm like, you know what? But our life is real. Our life is what so many people are living. Like this is so normal, raising kids, having a family, the ups and downs of life and you know, everything. So yeah. And then Luke asked, so do you have a Christmas budget? Do you save all year for it like a Christmas fund? Yep, that's exactly how we do it. Um, each paycheck, we have a set amount that comes out of our paycheck and we set it aside. I try if I earn any, I try to do as much of my shopping online as possible. So like if Target releases a deal on like household items that you can buy online, I try to buy it online and use swag bucks to get cash back like the shop and earn. Try to do that for anything that I can so that I'm earning um, cash back for shop and earn that I can either use for Christmas or vacations or whatever. Uh, we also try like anytime there's a gift card promo, I mean mainly it's Target or you know places like that where buy five items you get a ten dollar gift card we try excuse me to save all those gift cards as well um but yes we do have a set amount uh that we try to do every uh, month or every paycheck and we've set aside that money um into its own little fund that we use for christmas and birthdays and when we say christmas we mean like our tree the food everything and then uh, when it gets closer to Christmas, I always try to take the food out of our normal food budget. So then that money just stays in our Christmas account. Uh, at the end of the year, if we've had any like cash back or rewards or anything like that, uh, we try to use that money for Christmas and all that type of stuff. And then um, typically if we stick to our budget, then the last uh, four checks of the month, we have no bills because we're always a month ahead. And then the last four months of the year, because we just do every other paycheck, we pay certain bills. So like the first one is our house and utility, you know, the first one is the house, the second one is utilities. So we do that so that by the end of the year, we have four extra paychecks that don't have to go to anything. Uh, so that when we get to that point, we say, okay, how much did we save this year? Did we hit our savings goals? Um, how is this account looking? How is that fund looking? How is retirement looking? How is everything looking? And then we decide if we want to um, spend any extra, spend any more. Uh, last year, or 2016, we had a fantastic year financially. Um, we sold our house, which obviously gave us a huge like down payment into our savings account for a future home. Um, and just our cost of living being so much smaller down here, we were able to save m more than we actually had planned on saving by the end of the year. And typically I'll say like, oh, okay, well, we know that at the last four paychecks of the month are gonna be, you know, X, Y, Z, let's bump up the savings to this amount. Well, we even surpassed that amount because cost of living is just 
really cheap down here and our money goes a lot further. Uh, so we looked at our budget and we were able to basically take a month of income and we gave a little bit extra to Christmas. I actually gave a little bit extra to our clothing budget. Um, we adopted quite a few um, families in need to give them Christmas and then um, we put a huge amount in our savings and now we're just in that much better shape for 2017. So I definitely think it's easy and even if you start out at $10, you know, a week or whatever, $10 a week, that's going to bring you to $520 for the end of the year. Um, you know, even if you did, let's say like 30 bucks, let's say you stopped stopping and getting coffee and fast food and stuff like that. Let's say that equals about 30 bucks, um, times every week. That's 1560. Like it adds up, like, you know, and, and it doesn't hurt when you have those little bit amounts rather than it be like November 1st and you're like, crap, Christmas is here. I have no money and I have to pay bills. So that's how we do it. <laughs> A uh, little red button says, you know, you've been watching a YouTuber for too long when you skim the Q&A questions and feel like you can answer all of them. <laughs> uh, what do you like most and least about working for Scentsy? Um, the most has been getting the product out there, um, getting the chance to sample and try a bunch of different products that I wouldn't have, um, getting to give people that host parties tons and tons and tons of freebies and half price items. It's been really, really cool to kind of get it out there in like my circle of people, my circle of YouTube, whatever. Um, least, so far I haven't really had anything to deal with. I would say the least I like is that like these big sales are like when they switch over the catalog, it's definitely kind of like nerve wracking because you're trying to make sure that like you're getting orders in for people and you're trying to get orders in for yourself and the site is crashing and like everyone's coming at you at once and you don't know how to deal with it <laughs> and you know that's kind of nerve wracking but overall I'm like really impressed with the company I'm impressed with the quality I'm impressed with how they handle their customers and take care of them how they take care of some of their Sensi consultants um I'm I'm really liking it it's a lot of fun and it's not work like it's it's promoting a product that I actually like and use. And I'll be honest with you and tell you the products that I haven't liked and that I don't like, and that's coming in 2017. Um, I'm definitely gonna be giving more in-depth reviews for different items of Scentsy that maybe aren't the typical plugins or warmers or scents. Melissa also asked, am I wanting more kids? Um, we actually have been going back and forth a little bit more lately on wanting more kids. Um, but for now, we know that we don't want another kid in the end of the year. In all honesty, we don't want another kid in January or February either because that's like my husband's quieter time at work. I mean, it would probably make more sense to have a kid then, but it's just quiet financially. Um, but I'll say, I won't say that we're trying right now because we're not, um, but I won't say that we're not entertaining the idea of trying in the near future. Um, I also won't say that there's going to be another baby because there may not be. Uh, we go back and forth of the pros and the cons and everything else, you know, having four kids is a lot. And, um, in all honesty, like we probably should be done with four kids, but, um, you know, it is what it is. We'll see what the future holds. Uh, in all honesty, in the weight that I'm at and stuff like that, it's probably not healthy for me to have another baby right now. Um, in my age, I'm not old by any means, but I'm getting older. Uh, so again, you know, that kind of stacks against you too, but I'll just say never say never. You never know. We could be pregnant, you know, in a year or two, but we'll see. <laughs>